Well, thank you so much for joining us for our podcast here. First, it is a podcast designed to help you, the people at Chester First Baptist Church, know what's going on. Just a way to share with you some of our thoughts. And today I'm joined, as always, with Senior Pastor Dr. Mike Fogerson, and I am Ridge Fogerson. How are you doing, Dad? Ed, I'm doing good, man. How's your day been? My day has been all right. been doing a lot of reading. I had to go let a dog out a few times today. Miss Bev's dog? Miss Bev Larimore's dog, yeah. Murphy, he's Murphy. a good dog. He's a good boy. You've been taking care of our dogs? Uh, Yeah, that one dog, she's crazy, dude. She stays outside all day with the ball till you got to physically go get her. Yeah, I just went and got her before we came over here, and I had to go all the way down. She was playing ball, and I had to... Uh lift her up and carry her she'll she'll just turn over on her stomach i don't i don't know why she does that but uh she's a crazy dog a lot of triggers she needs some medication yep and so we've had a pretty eventful week here at cfbc Mm -hmm. we have uh we're in the third part of our revelation series we'll start the fourth part on sunday uh we had our third uh uh, connect group uh for the don't give the enemy a place at your table. Miss Schaefer is killing that, by the way. I think Miss Schaefer taught better Wednesday than I've ever heard her teach. She did a really good job. I, I I've I've thought on that lesson all day today. Um, she said, "Believe God," and uh, whenever the devil tells you that you're not worthy or you're not good enough or nobody likes you or everybody thinks you're a schmuck. The truth of the matter is, God has said you're worthy. You are chosen. You are the apple of my eye. And uh, I'm going to choose to believe God. And it's been really, really good. I've enjoyed that. She did a really good job. Yeah, but they also got you a cake last night, yeah, Wednesday night. For, from, uh, yeah, from Jody. I got a uh, chocolate angel food cake with chocolate icing. It's like my favorite cake. It is incredible. Yeah, and they did that because October is Pastor Appreciation Month. That was just their way of saying you're awesome. What better way than getting your favorite cake, you know? And Jama got us both a bag of goodies. Mm-hmm, that was awesome. Yeah. Good people here. Oh, yeah, absolutely. No no doubt about that. And then, was that Wednesday morning we yeah. had that meeting? Wednesday morning we met with uh, Neil and John from Out at Grace. And we're going to be doing a community Thanksgiving service on Friday, November the 19th. It'll be at 7 o'clock, and it'll be right here at uh, Chester FBC. And we will have an evening of praise and worship. We'll have communion together as a body. And we're calling it Come in Unity Thanksgiving Service. So our goal is to... Our vision is to to bring as many Christians as we can in unity for that night of praise and celebration because God has given us so much to be thankful for, even in a cruddy time like right now uh, where uh, you're so confused and you don't know what's going on. Uh, You know, God's still God and God's still good and worthy of our praise and thanksgiving. So that's what we're gearing up for. But that's going to be a good, good a good service, so it's a month away, but put it on your calendars. Yeah, the uh, community service that we had during Easter time, mm-hmm. that was phenomenal. I absolutely enjoyed that, loved it. And it'd be cool to, you know, have one here at our church this year. Absolutely. Next month, you know. Yeah. That'd be cool. We also got Trunk or Treat. Trunk or Treat's happening on October 31st. We're doing it from 5 to 8 out in the parking lot. And we're looking for a bunch of kids. We're looking for a bunch of families to come through the parking lot. We want to... We want to be a blessing to them, and we're going to have candy that we can give the kids. We'll have hot dogs and drinks on the way out uh, for for everybody, and we're really looking forward to it. Uh, we didn't do it last year because of the vid, but we're doing it this year because that's the thing to do. And we're I think uh, Brother Everett and Miss Joyce has uh, secured us like approximately 400 Bibles to give out. Wow. So And those Bibles are so awesome. Kids will hold on to those. Uh Throughout childhood, some of them hold them up throughout childhood, and we've heard stories of people, uh, their kids will put them underneath their pillow, they'll sleep with those Bibles, they'll put them in a drawer, they protect them, and they'll keep them for, for years, if not decades. And the the Word of God is just so powerful, man, and it's sharper than any two-edged sword. Yeah, I got five of them at our house floating around from getting them from Brother Everett every year at Trunk or Treat, and they're just, they're, they're cool for kids to have, for sure. Absolutely. And the, those, we've got, we, we have to start teaching, we have to start teaching Scripture to kids young, because that's when it sticks. In fact, Ms. Schaefer referred to that last night in the Connect Group. Um 
So, yeah. Yeah, right on, right on. Um, you got something you want to share? I do have something I want to share. I don't know how this is going to go in a message, but it's going to go in a message somewhere. I was, I was reading uh, last night, and I ran across this picture of this guy. Um, his name is uh, Sedemir Kupik. He died in May of 1942. He, uh, he died by a firing squad, all right? And he was shot by uh, Chetniks. Uh, when they had captured uh, Montenegro. And this man, um, Sedemir Kupik, he had been a law student, he a uh, young guy. Uh, and the, in, the, in the picture, it looks like there's a ring on his left hand, so I'm assuming he was married. But uh, he's in chains, and they're leading him away to be executed. And... This man is called a hero by the Yugoslavian people and the Yugoslavian government. And what struck me most about this guy, it wasn't the chains. It wasn't his gaunt face. It was his smile on his face. It's a smile like the dude didn't have a care in the world. Like he was going to go to Disney World as compared to that wall over there to be shot. And that picture has been called the smile of freedom. And... Although his face was bitter, uh, bearded and his future was bleak, he had this smile on his face that couldn't go away. Uh, he was smiling because he was dying free. He wasn't going to die as a, as a Nazi or die as a Nazi prisoner. He was going to die as a free man. And I did a funeral today for Mr. Kenny Beam, and uh, this really resonated in, in my spirit today. When a Christian dies, um, I think they can have a similar smile. Maybe not on the outside, but definitely on the inside. Because we know that, that death, death for the Christian is not the end of the road. It's not the end of the line. It's not the end of the day. We know that the journey continues. And that smile of freedom of uh, Sedemir Kupik, it reminded me of John eight thirty six. The Bible says, so if the Son sets you free, you are free. And thinking back to the moment that you're about to die, I think a Christian can smile because we are free from the fear of death. We are free from the fear of sin and its penalties. We are free from the second death. We are free from hell. We are free from our iniquity. And what we've received is freedom in Christ that never expires, that never runs out, can never be taken from us. And because of that, I think we could have a very similar smile of freedom on our face no matter what's going on in our lives. Yes, of course. One thing that comes to my mind when you shared that was that, like, Buddhist, Hinduist, people like that, they believe in, like, reincarnation for Hinduism. and they, Buddhists believe in dead to self. And that's just one thing that Christianity, we embrace death. We know that's not the end of the road. We know that we have an everlasting life with our Father in heaven, you know, and like we just embrace it. We know that there's more to this life than what's just right here. Right. What's right here is important. We got to do our best to spread the message, to advance the kingdom for God because he's worthy of it. Mm -hmm. And that's just something that Christianity is it's just perfect. It's just knowing that there's more yeah. after this. Yeah. And another thing about Christianity is... All the faiths that you mentioned, Hinduism, Buddhism, and we could just go on down the line, Mohammedism and, and any other ism. Every other religion has you trying to work your way to God for God to accept you and to, for God to receive you and for God to love you. Christianity has God coming to us uh, to love us, to rescue us, to save us. Uh, all we have to do is place our faith in him. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, so is that going to be in the message this Sunday? No, I... That's just, that's just a thought. It, yeah, this was something that the Lord laid on my heart this morning, and... It'll be in a message sometime. If I don't forget it, yes. If you don't forget and it. And if I do forget it, then it's here for well, it's right future, here posterity, uh, on, future posterity. Right here on the podcast, that's right. You got anything else you want to share? They heard it here first. You heard it here first, that's right. That's our, that's our slogan. You heard it. We need to get some t-shirts or something made of that. Yeah. Hoodie or something. I don't know if we'd buy it. If anybody would buy it, I know we'd buy it. We'd buy it easy. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Um, 
by the time you hear this, we are on our way to Branson, Branson. Missouri. We're going to be going to go see the the Jesus, Jesus play. play, and it's going to be yeah. awesome. Anything else? I cannot think of a of a of another thing. No. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. This podcast is brought to you by Chester First Baptist Church. Their vision is to love God, love people, and they're trying to live like Jesus. They have service this Saturday night at 5 p.m. Then they also have service Sunday morning at 1030, where they just come together as a corporate body to worship God. And you are invited. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember, you heard it here first. God bless.